Yo, welcome back to the video blog guys, the Hoxton Trend. Um, just finishing off all the unboxing stuff that we got in from the Woodhouse clothing as you remember. And I'm down to my last two pieces now that I'm going to review. So guys, if you haven't seen the reviews before this video, I've done a Woolwich um, Parker jacket video. And I've also done a Barber Quill um, Bomber jacket as well. So I'm going to put those in the description somewhere here. And maybe somewhere down there as well for you guys to see. Okay, so if you haven't watched those yet, Click on those guys so you can, um, you can see the rest of these reviews. Guys, what I'm going to move on to now is the Armani jackets that I've got in. So, feeling super chuffed about these already. I, I don't own any Armani clothing at all. I used to, back in the day at school, um, the Armani jeans were really, really big back in the day. So, everyone in school used to have a pair of Armani jeans. So, I used to wear those back in the day. But since then, I don't know what it is, but I just haven't really been a big fan of the brand. Even when I used to work at Self, which is back in the day, and they used to have the Armani concessions, and I used to go over and look over at the Armani stuff, I, I just didn't feel, think too much of it. So, that was a long time ago now anyway, so it'll be good to see, it'll be good to see what the jackets are saying now, okay? First things first, no special zips. I always get upset when I don't see special zips. Sometimes it means that they might not have pulled. There's much four in it, but anyway, let me look at this properly, guys. So this is it. This is it, man. Got the Armani badge up on the shoulder there. So Armani, as you can see. Uh, I don't know, man. Doesn't I don't doesn't feel like anything special, man. It just feels like a just feels like a normal jacket. Um, doesn't seem to be much of a cut. Okay, so I can taper it in at the waist. Okay, so let's see. Maybe that will get my juices firm a little bit more. Okay, so I'll take it on the way, so that's cool. This is a size large, by the way, guys. So let me, uh, let me. Hello. Uh, Yo, what's going on? Yeah. So yeah guys, I'm trying this Armani jacket on now and I think the truth of the matter is I'm, I'm, I just don't feel overly excited about it at all. I feel like I could have got this jacket from any other type of um, high street retailer like um, Topshop or even Zara's or any of those places would make a jacket very very similar to this. Nothing really stands out for me so far to be honest. So um, first reviews, are, first opinions are not, not too great but you know what let me put it on the bed let's look at it in more detail let's find out more about what this jacket is saying okay guys so um two seconds let's do the review now okay catch in a bit okay guys so we're gonna have a closer look at this armani jacket and see what it's saying and first opinions of the try on is I, I didn't think it was overly special i'm not trying to say the jacket's not nice i just didn't think it was overly special so i'm going to try and review it to see if we can try and uncover some of the features of the jacket and see if it really stands up to par with some of the other jackets that we've reviewed in the past, okay? So um, a lot of you guys know Armani jeans already. Um, obviously it's an Italian brand. Um, just first thing we notice as we open it up is it's got this kind of quilt, diamond um, quilt pattern on the inside, which um, is quite cool. Um, it's just something about the jacket that just doesn't, maybe it's, I don't know what it is. It just, just doesn't really stand out for me, man. And the material on the outside, I'm, I'm a bit in two minds whether I like it or not. I, on one hand, it kind of feels nice, but on the other hand, it feels really thin. And I just feel like if I walk past something on that, it would just tear really easily, which is a bit odd. Might be good to see exactly. Um, so the outside is 60% polyester and 40% polyamide. So, okay. Uh, one of the first things I noticed as well, I was really disappointed to see that these guys haven't used anything on their zips. I mean, there's no Lampo, there's no YKK. I mean, ultimately, that's not a big deal, but it's just nice when you see things like that because it just shows that the retailer is trying to go out and spend more money on quality. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I can't remember how much I paid for this now. I'm sure it was like 465 or something like that. But um, either way, it's not looking like a 400 pound jacket at the moment. Um... You can see it's got Armani here, all the way down the side here, it's got Armani, Armani, Armani jeans. I, I, I don't really like stuff like that. I don't really like to see repeats of logos like that at all, do you know what I mean? I think it's fine just to keep the AJ logo 
on the side there and just and just keep it as that. Um, one, of the other, one of the things I do like as well though is they've put our money at the bottom there nice and discreet. So that's the thing, sometimes you don't want to be overly baked with items. You don't want to be shouting that, yeah, I'm wearing this item. You want to be a bit discreet sometimes, which is nice, okay? So that's there and that's there, but I don't think there was any need to put this down on the side as well, okay? But some people might like that, but for me, I'll, that's not really for me. Um, I've also noticed here that they have engraved the um, button there with Armani jeans, so that's quite cool. Um, the hood looks to be removable. Again, we've got Armani jeans, Armani jeans on the hoods, which for me is a little bit bait, but I, I still can't decide whether I like the material on the outside. They've got Armani engraved on all the buttons here, and let's see if they've tried to engrave the studs, which they probably haven't. Oh, okay, I can't get through to the other side to see that. Fair enough. Um, they've got the pull cords here. Again, just in case you forgot what jacket you're wearing, it's Armani jeans, Armani jeans, Armani jeans. So they've got that on the pull cord. It doesn't seem to have any kind of verification um, like tags or anything on it. There's no Certi logo or anything that I can notice here. Jacket is made in China. And here we've got all the uh, washing instructions. So this is dry clean only. Um, and what it's made from as well, okay? So this is actually a, this is a size large, this one, guys. So size large is usually a 42, roughly to 44 inch chest thereabouts, but this one seems to fit me okay, and I'm usually a 41 inch chest, so this one seems to fit me okay. The, um, as I said before, the hood can come off, so you can use the popper studs. Ah, just discovered this. One, two, three, okay, see this, guys? This here. The three stars, the reason why I've got beef against this is because a lot of manufacturers that make fake jackets, they use this. They use this one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now, I'm not trying to say this is a fake, but what I'm trying to say is what usually happens with these manufacturers is this particular button stud here with the one, two, three, four, five, six stars, they've got these lying around in their factory. When, the, when a brand comes to them to make a jacket, they'll use this. But then when the manufacturer secretly goes away and makes their own mix starts making fakes which the brands don't know about they use these as well because I've come across a lot of fake items with this one two three star uh, six stars here on the um, on the stud I, I've seen I've seen a lot of legit brands as well mainly high street brands use this six star as well it just mean it just shows that they're getting their stuff made in China and that the manufacturer are just using their standard um, button poppers, but I'm just saying I've seen a lot of these on fakes. This has put me off already. This has put me off already. Um, that's just me, okay? So maybe it might cause me to question the amount of quality that Armani wants to put into this jacket when they gave the uh, when they gave the manufacturer the go ahead to make their jackets, okay? So, mm, so here we got the tag here, Armani jeans. Okay, so we've got some breathability here. So they've got two holes uh, underneath the armpits here. So this is so that if it gets too hot, you'll be getting some air going through there. So you shouldn't really get too too hot, warm underneath, which is quite cool. Um, overall, guys, not really feeling this one, man. I was never really a big fan of Armani, to be honest with you. Um, just seeing the, the zip there on the side. But again, no YKK, no Lampo. You can see I'm losing my passion here for this one, guys. It's not really, this one's not really for me. I mean, a lot of cats out there like love Armani. One of my close friends, he he loves Armani. He loves the brand a lot. He's got a lot of Armani clothing. So I'm not knocking anyone that wants to wear Armani. It's all good. It's just it's just not really for me. I don't really feel the brand in that way. Obviously, you've got two um, lower pockets there, and we've got some pockets to the mid chest on the side, so you can put your hands up in there and and get them in there, okay? They haven't used any different materials on the inside, it's the same material, so it might have been nice if they lined that up with fleece or something. It feels like it's got some type of padding on the insides as well. Um, I mean, I guess this jacket, would it would keep you warm, it would definitely keep you warm. I just think it doesn't stand out enough for me, or the quality doesn't just seem to be there. I can't put my finger on it, but something's giving me the red flag with this stuff. It's, it's not worth the money, but that's just it. Sorry for all you guys that are Armani fans out there and you're hoping to see some something really cool. Um, maybe the other jacket might be a bit cooler, but this one's gonna get returned for me, guys. I'm not gonna be keeping this one, okay? But um, that's the review there. Let's see if they've even bothered to try and put some detail on the studs, and no, they haven't, okay?
Mm, okay. Feathers. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, try that on real quick one more time. Let's see what it looks like on, okay? Two seconds. Yo! So back again, guys, with that um, Armani jacket that I just done a review on. And just doing a quick try now to see what he said. Um, as you've gathered now, guys, I'm not really a big fan of it. I mean, the jacket's cool, but I'm just not a big fan. A couple of things about the jacket have let me down a little bit. They're not using um, YKK zips or anything like that, or um, Lampo zips, which is a bit of a disappointment given the price of the jacket. Um, it doesn't overly stand out for me in any way. It just looks like a very simple jacket, which I could have got from maybe Zara's or, or Topshop and stuff like that, because Zara's do a lot of very similar jackets to stuff like this. Um, and I'm just feeling like Armani's not putting the quality in the item, man. So it's, it's let me down a little bit. So I'm not really a big fan of this one. But in saying that, you know, it's still it's still a warm jacket. Um, it's got a hood. <laughs> so that's all good. But yeah, guys, I've got one more. Um, I've got one more Armani jacket here. I'm hoping this one's going to be a lot better because when I saw this one online, it looked really, really cool. So I've got one more Armani jacket to try on. So I'm going to give that a quick try on right after this video okay guys so that's it for the Armani review um, do you know what I'll definitely try out more Armani stuff I'm going to be looking at the EA7 tracksuit because I had lots of people ask me about EA7 so I'm definitely going to be having a look at that hopefully we're going to see a lot more difference in quality there with the EA7 brand okay guys so um, that's it for this review as always guys if you want to see more reviews you know what to do guys just click on the subscribe button and if you like what I'm doing so far guys please like the video so that I know that you guys are feeling it and I can continue to do more okay guys so um, that's it for now um, get ready for the next review I'm going to be doing the uh, prepping for that now so stay tuned guys and catch you lot in a bit okay peace out